Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you multi-track audio files versus stems in Reaper. So what are the differences between multi-track audio files and stems? Well, they're actually quite different with individual purposes. And it's important to understand these differences as it can be very confusing if a client or a mixing engineer is asking for one and you send them the other. Multi-track audio files are the separate recorded individual elements of a production. Basically, they're the recording in its raw form without compression, EQ, reverb, or delay. Unless you recorded or printed those effects while you were recording. But these files are usually just dry with no effects at all. The purpose of sharing these files with someone else is so that they can mix your project or song. They will be the ones adding all the compression, EQ, reverb, and delay to your tracks. And having the raw audio will give them the largest amount of options or control as to how each track or instrument will be treated. Usually, a mixing engineer is going to request these files. It's also useful for other people who might be using a different DAW and just want to recreate your project with their software. These files are also necessary for archiving your project in case you're going to go back to it in the future. Stems are very different. Stems will usually be processed completely as a finished sound. They could still be individual instruments treated, but usually you would print groups of tracks as stems. So if you had eight or 10 tracks of drums, you might create one stereo drum stem of all the drums blended and treated as a final finished sound. The purpose of sharing these files is so someone can still have some control over your mix, but without having to actually remix or mix your project. A great example would be if you were putting your song in a commercial, a movie, or a video game. The producer or editor doesn't want to have to actually mix your project, but they might want to remove some instruments or change the level of some of them a bit. Using stems would give them this control without having to remix or mix your project. Usually, someone can take all the stems you send them Put them in any DAW on separate tracks with all the faders at zero and hear your finished mix exactly as you made it. This is why it's important that stem files are completely finished and mixed. They're usually just separated into groups. So let's take a look at this project, for example. I have some drum tracks over here. I have a kick, snare, overheads, and room. Then a drum reverb effects return that I'm sending the drums to. Then a piano, a bass, a synth, and a pluck synth. And both synths are sending to effects returns for delay and reverb right here. Let's hear it. And if we go to the mixer, we could see all our tracks here, and they're already mixed with their faders for volume. And up here, we can see the effect sends. Our drums are sending to this return for drum reverb, and our two synths are sending delay and reverb over here. And there's also some effects on these tracks, some EQ and compression. Let's say we wanted to create some multi-track audio files of this project. We're not going to create stems, so it's not going to include all the volume adjustments over here, our plugins, or the effects sends and returns over here and here. We're just creating 
or recreating our project audio files. So instead of going under File to Render and choosing to create stems over here, instead, we go over here to File and choose Consolidate or Export Tracks. But let's first select the tracks we want to consolidate or export. I'm going to select them all except our effects returns right here. Then we'll go back to consolidate or export tracks. We'll choose entire project, just selected tracks, choose the folder on our hard drive we want to send the files to, and then choose process. And the Reaper creates all the files we need on a track by track basis. Let's go to our hard drive. Here are the files that were created. And notice if we play the snare file, it's completely dry. No effects from the track, no reverb, and no volume adjustments from our project. We just consolidated and exported one file per track. So if we go to our synths and hear those, notice they're completely dry. No reverb or delay printed to the file. So basically, these are just the raw files. What we recorded directly in our project. But if we want to create stems, as I described before, then we would use render. Let's delete all these files, go back to Reaper, and instead, with the tracks all selected, now we'll choose render. We'll change this to stems selected tracks, entire project, and we'll save them to the same folder. So now, if we render these files, notice they're being created over here. Let's see them on the hard drive. But notice, if we hear the files back, let's hear the snare. The snare sound is still dry. And the same thing with our synth. That's because Reaper just rendered these stems on a track by track basis. It didn't consider the entire project, like the effects returns, although it printed the volumes from a mixer and any effects on each individual track. But for creating stems, this is not the best way to do it. And I should also mention I have some effects on the master track right here. I have an EQ, a compressor, and a limiter, and we should really include those in our stems. With this previous way, we didn't. Like I mentioned earlier, we want to create a final mix that's going to sound exactly the same when we blend all the stems together. So we want to include the master effects in our stems, along with our effects returns. So let's go back to the render dialog. And instead of choosing stems selected tracks, let's choose selected tracks via master. This is still going to create stems, but it's going to include any effects returns in our project, along with the effects on the master track. So we'll choose this and do the same thing. Render eight files. Notice this time it renders one by one to include all the master effects and effects returns in the project. So now let's go to the hard drive. Here are the stems we created, and let's hear the difference. Let's check the snare. Not only does it render all the effects on the track, like compression, it also included the effects return 
for our reverb and the master effects on the master track. Let's hear the synths. <laughs> And this one. Now it printed all the delay and reverb from the effect sends to the returns. But there's still one problem with this method. As I mentioned earlier, we usually want to create stems as groups, like all the drums together or the synths. So if we want to do that, we need to create some folder tracks. Close this. And this time, let's make a new track. Put it up here. Name it Drums. Make this track a folder by hitting this button right here. And then hitting this button to take these tracks out of the folder. Now, this track is a folder for all the drums. But notice, we're still hearing the reverb because it's still sending to the reverb return. And for the piano and bass, let's leave those tracks alone. But let's combine the two synths. Make a new track, name it synths. Do the same thing with these, make it a folder. Now the synths are grouped together. <laughs> So now let's create some stems based on these folders instead. We'll select the drums folder, our piano and bass, and the synths folder. And just those tracks we're going to create stems for. Open the render dialog and we'll choose selected tracks via master. We'll render four files. And we can see it's starting with the drums, then the piano, then the bass, then the synths together. And now, if we go to our hard drive, it only created four stems, but they should sound completely finished. With the effects on each track, the effects returns and the master effects. Let's hear the drums. Let's hear the synths. Perfect. So now if we added all four tracks to a new project and played it, Notice it sounds exactly like our mix, although we could still make some slight adjustments to it. We can mute the piano. So we can still tweak the stems, but it's a lot easier and more manageable to work with these stems instead of the entire project, which is how some people are gonna to wanna to receive your files. So if someone's asking for stems, this is the right way to create them. Although if you just wanna create your project in a different DAW, or just consolidate on a track by track basis, just use the consolidate export tracks feature. So that's pretty much it. That's multi-track audio files versus stems in Reaper. Hope you learned something. 
Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.